iconic experiences, epic comebacks, important celebrations and uniquely crafted music in a wide variety of music genres and with a quality that left us all wanting more. It is time to celebrate the best albums by 2D groups and say you artists released in 2023 and decide which is the album of the year, at least in my opinion. So let's kick off this episode of Say You Lounge. Welcome to Say You Lounge, I am your host Vanessa and today's topic is 10 best albums released by male Say You artists and to the groups in 2023. I love to wrap up the year with a talk about the albums that were in constant repeat for me since I got to review them. Some of these are fairly recent, others were released really early in the year, but some of these albums actually explore so many music genres yet they remain surprisingly consistent throughout, something that impressed me a whole lot. There were performances that put a smile on my face and others that basically almost made me cry given how emotional they were. Let's celebrate the top 10 best albums of 2023 by male Seiyuu artists and 2D groups. And yes, every entry in this episode is ranked, so prepare yourself for tough choices from me. As always, this top is a result of my personal opinion after reviewing hundreds of CDs this year. Way too many and I still have plenty in my pile of shame left to review. You're welcome to share with me and other viewers or listeners of Sayu Lounge which are your top 10 picks or basically which is your album of the year. Now without further ado, let's start this top. Number 10. Kenichi Suzumura with Roots. Kenichi Suzumura's music never fails to captivate and his latest release, Roots, is no exception. In this mini-album, Suzumura delves into his passions, his journey and his origins, all condensed into five compelling tracks. Throughout the album you can sense his passion, nostalgia and pride beautifully reflected in his performances. As someone who appreciates collaborations between Seiyuu artists, the collaboration between Kenichi Suzumura and Shotaro Morikubu was an absolute delight. Morikubu's energy infused this release with a unique vigor, a departure from what one would typically associate with Kenichi Suzumura's music. Roots is a passionately crafted mini-album that showcases Kenichi Suzumura's talents in a refreshing light. It allows him to shine even brighter than usual, revealing new dimensions to his artistry. While this is a niche album, given how few people were talking about it or even singing its praises, it is still well worth your time. As always, Suzumura arrives, drops a diamond of an album and wraps up the year without anyone noticing he was here. While genius, I would love for his music as well as his talents as a singer-songwriter to be more appreciated. Number 9. You Make With Atmosphere Atmosphere is an album that may have went under the radar for many, but oh boy, wasn't this an awesome album by You Make? It perfectly captures the duo's laid-back, cozy vibe and simple semi-acoustic rock sound. Although the duo has this sound and vibe since their start, they have improved it over the years and in atmosphere you can feel it by how much they experimented with music genres, composition styles and even their lyrics. The ethereal and dreamy music along with the warm vocals of Kentito and Yoshiki Nakajima feels like a warm blanket on a cold day. The album showcases the balance between fancy compositions by Ken Tito and vivid lyrics by Yoshiki Nakajima, resulting in feel-good tunes. The standout tracks on the album are the self-titled song Atmosphere and Drop. Atmosphere showcases the duo's fancy performance with exceptional guitar work and powerful vocals. Drop features groovy bass and one of Yumake's best choruses with perfect drama and tempo. Additionally, You Make Styles displays the duo's versatility with insanely fast rapping and 80 styles singing. That song is crazy, but also adds a lot of quality to the album as a whole, even if the tone shifts a bit. Atmosphere is a fancy, laid-back and incredibly sweet album. 
It is the perfect album to play when you want to feel loved or just want to relax. Number 8. Idolish 7 franchise with Beyond the Period. While many people will discard this album as it is mostly compilation 1 and with music featured in a movie, I feel like this album fully deserves your attention. Growth is the central theme of the new songs in Idolish 7 live 4-beat compilation album Beyond the Period. This album simulates a live show experience featuring intros, intermissions and an all-star type of concluding song. Previously released songs appear as shortened versions in this album, encouraging newcomers to explore the full versions for a complete understanding. Among the new songs, Rivale's Journey appeared slightly underwhelming, not fully matching their recent quality level. Nevertheless, it's an adventurous and interesting track. Idolish 7, Trigger and Zul, on the other hand, delivered impressive performances. Idolish 7's Nightfall exudes warmth and teamwork. Zul's Stronger and Stronger surprises with its dreamy hip-hop and R&B blend. Trigger's beautiful prayer shines with an addictive new disco sound. And the all-star song Pieces of the World exemplifies a well-composed, emotionally charged composition. Its soaring strings, emotional performances and storytelling elements create an epic performance. In conclusion, Idolish 7 Live 4-beat compilation album Beyond the Period caters to longtime fans while intriguing newcomers with its lyrical storytelling and impactful instrumentals. DCD is a must listen. Number 7. Spark Lou with We Will. Spark Lou keeps impressing. By now, it seems that the group only knows one way up. And this is what has consistently made their music quite impressive since the release of Daybreak. The latest mini-album, We Will, is filled with highlights starting from All My Heart. This one combines a late 90s R&B pop vibe with a cool tropical pop twist. It's catchy as hell and definitely one of the most exciting releases of 2023. The subunit songs on the album deserve some serious recognition as well. They dive into rock music, each in their own way. Ozumi and Yoshinaga bring the noise with a high-energy, riff-driven rock track. On the other hand, Uemura and Horie go for a heart-melting rock ballad. It's a nice change that lets fans appreciate the unique skills of the group members. All in all, Sparklu nailed it again with We Will, and if you haven't checked this mini-album, please do it. It is well worth your time, especially if you love pop and rock music with a fancy twist. Number 6. Tetsuya Kakihara with Warateite. By now, Tetsuya Kakihara is a male seiyu artist whose work I am instantly excited to listen to. When it comes to his singing skills, Kaki has improved a whole lot in recent years, now boasting a colorful, emotional and powerful voice with a lot of control. His unique breathing singing style, not to mistake with Whisper's style of singing, which feels and sounds completely different from what he does, continues to be a trademark. In 2023, he released Warateite, and this album was all about exuding laid-back vibes and showcasing his impressive technical prowess. It seems that the concept in Warateite is all about bringing happiness, warmth and a sense of being loved and appreciated to his fans and listeners. He masterfully achieves this through a collection of six songs that incorporate chants, choirs, unconventional compositions that break free from traditional patterns, groovy tunes and soul-stirring ballads. Warateite not only leaves you with a broad and proud smile on your face, but also invokes tears and goosebumps. If you're seeking a musical journey with a well-defined concept, Warateite is the mini-album for you. It's an invitation to smile widely and cherish the experience. This is yet another near-flawless album by Kakihara and one of the best albums released in 2023. Number 5. Yomuchida with Why. An album full of surprises, yet an album filled with previously released songs. I was, and still am, quite critical about Yumuchida's Y being called a new CD, when in fact only 3 songs out of 13 are effectively new. 
But putting that aside, this is a really awesome album, one filled with unique twists and turns that best depict Yumochida's path as a solo artist until now, at the same time that they showcase completely different sides of his. With rock, pop, EDM, jazz and R&B taking the lead, this is the most eclectic album in Yumochida's repertoire so far. Perhaps that is what makes it not arrive as the album of the year. Perhaps it is the fact that the album only has three new songs. But when you listen to this album from start to finish, I can assure you that there will be several moments in which your jaw will drop in awe. Be it with Uchida tackling hard rock with hints of hardcore, or his mature take on jazz music, or even the intoxicating and sexy vibe of some songs, Uchida brings with him a selection of songs that will leave you wanting more and more. As it is why he's strong as an album, and further solidifies Yumuchida as one of the best and most versatile solo artists among male Seiyu. However, a perhaps rushed want to present fans with new music, and then featuring sad music, the digital singles, all in this album, removed most of the magic it could have had. If this is your first time coming across this album, especially if you skipped the digital singles, this is easily one of the best albums of 2023, but due to how experimental it is, it fails to have a conductive thread in terms of tone and vibe, something in which Equal excelled, and that's why in my opinion this album fails to fully satisfy me. Number 4. Kramv with Climb It is an understatement to say that Kramv is an insanely talented group. If the digital singles, also included in this EP, were an indication of anything, it was that you and I are experiencing the birth of a new group set on delivering quality performances that stray away from what is a trend, instead focusing on what makes sense taking into account the outstanding vocals at their disposal. I've loved the build-up towards Kramv's debut, starting with 14 members, each Seiyu voicing two, and eventually only one of those they voiced would make it to the final lineup, and then, through a series of voting rounds, mind you, free voting rounds as you didn't have to purchase any CDs or pay for anything to have the opportunity to vote, you got to decide the final seven members for the group. Starting with a big lineup and refining it to a reasonable number of members with voice tones that work well was something I was not expecting would happen, especially when there was a popular vote in the mix. This is one of the rare cases in which fans created a behemoth of a 2D pop group, with not only an amazing Seiyu cast, but also characters with voice tones that feel right in the lineup. The journey for this group has been quite amazing since its official debut in 2023, and a series of digital singles culminating in this EP proves that this group has everything to be in conversation as the biggest surprise of the year and one of the best groups active in 2023. It is rare to have a group so in sync vocally right off the bat, but Kramv has impressed in this regard. While everyone is impressive on their own, I feel like there are a couple of Seiyu that deserve the spotlight again. I keep on being impressed by Makoto Furukawa's evolution as a singer, now being fully confident in his falsetto and high notes. Mind you, this is something he didn't have in his singing skills up until recently, and is actually proving to be lethal both on his natural low baritone range, as well as in a 4 tenor or high baritone range, hitting those high notes and pulling off falsetto flawlessly. At the same time, Chiaki Kobayashi continues to be a show stealer for me. He is confident in his performances and the warmth he carries on his vocals always end up attracting my attention. He is also surprisingly consistent and cohesive in his performances, in comparison with the few 2D group's experiences he had before joining the group. Worth mentioning as well is Tasuko Hatanaka, who honestly carries the group on his back for most of the performances, doing a bit of everything on the vocal end, from driving a song forward to harmonizing with others and providing a lot of power to the group's core. Wherever you look, Hatanaka is there for Kramv's performances, which is impressive. I still wonder why not many people appreciate these and give him credit for being an awesome and technical singer you can always rely on, as well as the driving force for Kramv. Kramv's Climb easily enters the top 10 best CDs released in 2023, 
bringing refreshing performances and a stylish sound that will have you come back for more. Number 3. Kentito Hanabi An official first EP arrived and fans were impressed. Kentito's Hanabi arrived to share with us all top quality city pop music with awesome vibes. Ito's music feels cozy and warm at all times, while being serious about its quality and performances. It is the perfect balance between a quality singer wanting to create music that not only is unique and stylish, but that also entertains his fans in unexpected ways. There is nostalgia, but also a happy, warm feeling coming off from his music and that, I believe, makes him unique in the Seiyuu artist's landscape. The quality of the instrumentals is high, now with Ito in charge of the composition for some of the songs, and Kent Ito's vocals are so sweet and smooth to the ears. Also worth mentioning is that one of the best songs of the year, Amber, is a collaboration with composer Zach B, with whom Kent Ito has worked in the Hanadol franchise as a member of Anthos. In Hanabi, you will find yourself wanting to hear more and more. Kentito's Hanabi is an amazing entry in his repertoire, setting a high level of quality for future releases while showcasing the vocal prowess of one of the most experienced and technical singers among male, Seiyuu. Number 2. Sir Vanity with Midnight Sun Since its debut in 2020, Sir Vanity has been shaking up the rock and pop scenes, setting itself as one of, if not the most, exciting band fronted by Miles Seiyuu to debut in the last couple of years. With a unique approach to rock and pop music, a thunderous bassline at their heart, at the same time that fans get fancy synths and drums and twin guitars and vocals, courtesy of Yoshiki Nakajima and Yuichiro Umehara, Sir Vanity has been turning heads around. And the time arrived to turn even more heads with the release of their first mini-album, Midnight Sun. Fans can find in these release stylish songs and performances that range from minimalistic to incredibly intense, stylish and groovy. And everything sounds amazing with this band. They aren't following a formula. They are creatively experimenting with their skills while at the same time keeping a consistency across their repertoire in terms of quality that is impressive. The vocals of Nakajima and Umehara fit incredibly well together and as well with any music genre that is thrown at them. On the other hand, their evolving sound, mixing influences from various music genres, creates a stylish, muscular, yet emotional rock sound that makes you hit that replay button time and time again. This time around, even acid jazz was added to their sound and it sounds downright amazing. As 2023 wraps up, Sir Vanity's Midnight Sun stands out for its consistency and quality on the vocals and the instrumentals and is easily one of the best albums of the year. Number 1. Trignal, Irona Katachi. The surprise of the year for more reasons than you would have expected. Not only Trignal made a comeback after five years of hiatus, but the trio arrived to release what was instantly my album of the year. Irona Katachi is unreal. So good and so unique, especially in the group's repertoire. When I reviewed this album, I instantly noticed just how genuinely confident the group was. Their sound was polished to the littlest detail. The sound is mostly loungy, with a lot of jazz, space and new disco going on, yet still with the occasional pop tune and a really interesting down-tempo rock song in here as well. You can tell from the presentation of this album just how much the group matured. Their sound, which was already amazing in Tricolore, was vastly upgraded to fit with the group's current singing skills and talents, and the whole vibe about their songs showcases just how experienced and mature the group now is. The intro to this mini-album is pure class and confidence in my opinion. Chase the Destiny is nothing like their usual music, fully embracing a comfortable style of rock, and then comes the big surprise, Tashkani Bokurawa, easily the best song in this album and one of the best released in 2023. Tashkani Bukurawa is single-handedly Trignal's best song released to date. 
Then Ida Y brings jazz music to the spotlight and Honey Ready Go got a massive upgrade with a new arrangement and a new take on the vocals by all members. Infiorata is the song that most closely resembles the sound that Trignal used to have, however with a completely different approach to it. The mature approach to their once bubbly pop sound made the song stand out to me as the focus was on making each member sound good whenever they got the spotlight for themselves. And wrapping up this mini album is Iwaba Ishitotsu no Love Song, a fun pop tune with ska influences and a jaunty sound that will make you bounce as you listen to it. Trignal's 5 years stop made this mini album all the sweeter, but believe me, even if you are not approaching this CD from a long time fan perspective, like I am, you will still understand why this is the best album of 2023. Trignal nailed it with Iro Nakatachi. This is not only their best album to date, but also the best album of 2023. wasn't necessarily a prolific year in terms of the number of albums released, which explains why some of the entries in this top are actually mini-albums or EPs. Still, the albums that were released focused on quality and on showcasing growth, something you can find across every single one of the albums I just mentioned. Maturity, both for Sayu artists and 2D groups, is something that up until recently wasn't necessarily explored. So the groups continue to release the same old music without any upgrades. So you artists used to do the same thing over and over again because it worked. In 2023, I believe we got to see different sides to most male C U artists and some 2D groups or even franchises went all in embracing the idea of maturity, vastly improving the music for their artists. Experimentalism is noticeable if you check these albums against some of their previous ones trying new music genres, performing in completely different styles, adding a surprise or two in the performances. Just the fact that male CU artists were trying new things made me quite excited for the music that was released this year. In my opinion, the only thing missing this year were full-length albums by Makoto Furukawa, Suma Saito and Toshiki Masuda, or even Mamoru Miyano, the heavy hitters either because of their unique take on their music or in the case of the last three Seiyu artists I just mentioned, because they are sales monsters. Other than that, the albums we got in 2023 were innovative, stylish and daring at times and I loved every bit of it. But enough about what I think. So tell me, which were the albums by 2D groups released in 2023 that impressed you the most and why? And do you have any favorite albums released by male CEO artists or bands? Let me know in the comments on YouTube or Spotify. And remember, leave your comments as complex or as simple as they may be, and you can be featured on upcoming episodes of Say You Lounge. If you enjoyed this episode and don't want to miss the hand that feeds HQ's weekly male Say You and music related content, hit the subscribe button. And if you are listening to this episode on a podcast listening platform, please consider following the podcast and leaving a review. Leaving a review is really simple and helps other people find the podcast and fall in love with my LCU artists and 2D groups. I'll return next week with another episode of CU Lounge. Thank you for listening and I'll see you guys in 2024.